morning, good morning, blessed Sunday morning to everyone out there. I hope you're having a great weekend. I'm here with you again for another pink ribbon Pilates session for celebration of Breast Cancer Awareness Month here every day of October. So join me for a short 20 minute Pilates workout. Just had a nice long run this morning, so I'm hoping to loosen out some areas that if you are walking or running or hiking or doing some sort of cycling, that you will find this is a nice release as well as strengthening. Or it could be pre-workout as well, it's great stuff. So enjoy, um, listen with your ears and don't look at me too much, just sort of integrate the sensations and the movements into your core, okay? So thank you for joining me. Grab your mat. All right. So I'm going to go right down onto my mat to start with. And I'm going to be in the middle of my mat. I always like to say have some real estate behind you. So you don't want to be sitting here and then you roll off your mat and you roll down. You're going to be in the middle of your mat. I'm going to have my feet are together and my knees are just in line with my hip joints. Okay. So that's where I am. And Cecilia, if you're going to be watching this, my hairdresser. This one's for you too. <laughs> she says that she follows them. So great. I want to first just get ourselves into the feeling of, our, of where we are in space. I like to think of the symmetry and that's why I like to just start this with my feet together. Make sure your toes are lined up so that you know your feet are actually nice and symmetrical. I just open my knees slightly just so I can get that alignment, that tracking with my hip joint. I'm going to hold my behind my legs just to take my body right up onto my sits bones, right off the meat and onto the bones. So the little bones that you know when a, a kid sits on your lap and you can feel those bones poking you, those bones there that are called your sits bones. So just think about that, that sensation from there and lengthen up through your spine. So you wanna get your body nice and tall. Now holding that there sort of helps you to bring the spine as tall as you can and you really feel the back of the body start to switch on. At the same time, you want to be pulling the tummy away from the thighs so that you're just sort of getting into the core, the, 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 the traditional core muscles of the abdomen. Now from that, I want to feel my sits bones lift off the mat, like as if I'm sitting on thumbtacks or something. So I want to really zip the sits bones together and feel my pelvic floor lift, like I can just feel inside nice lift. So I really feel that sensation. My breath is going to go nice and wide into my ribcage. I'm keeping my spine long, and as I exhale, I'm really going to deepen that connection, pressing my feet together, pressing my sits bones together, squeezing, and lifting my belly button up and back. I'm feeling the crown of my head reach for the ceiling. I'm going to take another breath there, breathing into the sides, nice and slow. And then nice and slow, I'm going to part my lips and again, as I sigh that breath out, see a count of eight, you want to be lengthening through the spine. And again, exhaling, relaxing those necks and shoulders and just feeling the neck get longer. Beautiful. So your back, your muscles should be quite switched on now, about 80%, really working toward. And then if we can lengthen the arms and feel energy into those arms. So if you think you have big wings, tighten those arms, just stretch those arms and you feel energy. But this time I'm gonna inhale, but I'm gonna to try to bring my belly button in, round my chin in, round my tailbone under. And then as I exhale, I squeeze my feet together and I roll halfway back. I'm gonna breathe into the back of my ribs again. So I'm not gonna bulge, um, bulge, my, bulge my stomach. And then I'm going to reach back up as I'm pulling in opposition with my belly button away from my thighs. I reach for my ankles and then I start to lift from the pelvic floor. Six bones lifting my pelvis, lifting everything nice and upright. Energy in those arms. Inhale again into the back and exhale. Feel that leg through the spine. Inhale there and exhale back. Reaching, 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 and then stacking the spine. So really feeling that flow of it. Inhale into the back. Exhale. Inhale. 
Exhale. Reaching the spine away. Long, 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 long. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. Press those feet together. Scoop the tummy. Feel the energy in the arms. Inhale. And scooping up. Pull that belly behind you. Reach for those ankles. And then start to stack the spine again. Beautiful. This time we go all the way down. Inhale. And exhale. Floating down through the spine. Pause halfway there. And exhale all the way down to neutral. So lying back on your, on your back. You just feel now the shoulder blades should be nice and broad because you've just been doing that curving. Feel those shoulder blades. I'm going to walk my feet in a little bit closer. Okay, so that I have a nice a chopper bend in my knee. Okay, so from here, I'm checking that my hips are nice and even. I'm going to take my legs out to the sides. I'm going to take my arms up behind me and just circle them around. Now, very often, sometimes when we are um, cycling, running, walking, we tend to be sort of slightly flexed, flexed spine forward and we find we're in our shoulders here. So it's a really nice exercise either before or after your workout to just have the nice opening into the shoulders. While I'm doing that, I'm really engaging into my abdominals. So I'm actually working into my, all this area is nice and firm. Okay, let's reverse those circles. And we'll just add a little neck stretch with that. Head comes up, reaching up, and then the head goes down. Just feeling those shoulders opening up. We've done this before, if you look at some of the other videos, so you can feel the neck stretching and reaching. And lifting, zipping up those tummies, reaching. Let's go two more because this is so delicious. The sensation of those shoulders getting that stretch. Again, if it's not available to you, just do smaller circles. Yeah, just can do smaller circles all together. I'm going to take those arms behind me and then I'm going to take my arms reaching up now, pulling the rib cage down. I'm going to lengthen through my right leg. I'm going to squeeze my thighs together. Inhale. Exhale to lift up there. As I reach up, I'm going to pull my leg in so I get a nice stretch up my back. Push the other leg into the um, mat. So I have a stretch up my hamstring. Flex my foot and come back down. Point my toe and reach that leg, lengthening it away. And squeezing it back up, reaching up, getting a nice flexion in the spine, stretch, and feel that leg stretch, flex and point, and reaching it back down. And lifting up, reach, flex and point, and reaching back down. So I'm flexing and pointing my foot to give me an extra stretch into my calf, point, and down. I'm trying to keep my pelvis in neutral as I do that, so I can really get that line, long line from the tailbone to the heel. Let's go one more on that side and feel the neck. We're waking up into the quads as well as we do that. And lengthen that away all the way. Bring the arms up, bring that foot down. Let's go up the other leg, stretches out. Inhale, nod your chin, lifting, and you reach that leg up there, flex point, and lengthen that away. Feel the long line of the body. Feel those lower abs also working to control that leg. And flex and point, lifting the chest and reaching that long. And again, lifting, pull and flex and point and lengthening away. Feel that whole body stretch and lifting up and flex and point and reaching away. Let's go one more time here and lifting and flex and point and lengthen all the way up and take the arms up bring that arm leg back down beautiful now we're going to just clasp the hands like this with our thumbs so i'm going to place my hands behind my head clasped in between with my thumbs down my neck now i'm going to make like a little hammock for my head okay so it's not a slingshot it's a hammock so you're not going to be pulling it anywhere it's just allowing the head to relax into your hands. The thumbs are actually down your neck so that you can cradle the base of your skull just by your, um, between your index fingers and your, and your thumb. So you can feel as if you want to lengthen your neck there, just very gently. Good, I'm gonna inhale there, lift my head, neck and shoulders, and then I'm gonna draw my belly in, imprinting my spine, and lift one leg up at a time. Beautiful. 
So now I'm taking my legs to 90, 90. I want to feel that nice lift. And then from here, I'm going to go obliques. So I'm going to turn to the side and center and twist to the side. Notice I'm not closing my elbows. I am just twisting my chest to my thigh. If the elbow touches, great. But the idea is to get a nice rotation into the body, zipping up the tummy, reaching it across, zipping. Try to really get that nice length into the other leg. So you feel the energy going away and you feel the abdominals twist. So really nice work into those abdominals, reaching. And reaching, I do one more set. So we could do six sets here, reaching, keep lifting and reaching. Lift the head, neck and shoulders and just draw the legs in slightly closer and then lower the head, neck and shoulders. Beautiful. From here, we're going to just take the legs side to side. So I'm squeezing my legs together. I'm going to lift over to the left. So my knees stay the same height, working into my abdominals and come back to center. I'm going to inhale to the right. And I'm going to exhale to the center. And inhale to the left. And zipping up the tummy, exhale to center. Inhale, just a gentle movement. Don't be aggressive with your body, be loving. And just feel deep inside the connection with the pelvic floor, connection with the abdominal wall. Feel as if the back muscles have to help you as well. Feel the shoulder blades drawing back onto the mat. Let's do one more set here. And just feel that every inch of your body, what's happening with your toes, what's happening with your knees, your thighs, your hip bones, your buttocks, what's happening with your waist, what's happening with your shoulders, your fingertips. Just get aware of what's happening with your neck and hold that to center for me. Beautiful. We're going to send those legs nice and tall. Get a nice stretch there, flex and point. And then we're going to do a little bit of inner thigh stretch. So we're going to turn your left feet out away from each other, toes away from each other. And then you're going to open your legs nice and wide and then zip them back up together for me. Okay, keep going. And we're going to open them nice and wide and then zip them back up together. Open nice and wide. Now, if this feels too much for the abdominals and you feel your back may be wanting to come off the mat, it's okay to hold onto the back of the thighs and encourage the, the support. So I'm just holding on there and I'm just supporting them and I'm encouraging them to open nice and wide, get a stretch. And then I'm zipping them up here to pull them back. I'm using my abdominals as well to do this. Notice that my feet are turned out. So my toes are leading the way and my heel is leading to come back up, reaching. Otherwise you can keep your chest open. You can also hover the arms and you can feel those obliques work even more when you hover those arms, reaching them out to the side, reaching them up. Beautiful. Once we've done eight, we come back to the center. We come parallel feet, okay? Flexing the feet and again out and squeeze together and out and squeeze together. I'm still hovering those arms out and squeeze together. You can keep them down or you can hold onto the legs or stick them just underneath your bum a little bit your tailbone if you feel your lower back is taking any tension. So I'm reaching out and squeezing in parallel. Reaching out and squeezing. You can feel the outsides of the legs, the lateral aspect of the legs. You can feel those inner thighs working. You can feel the hamstrings stretching and boy, you can feel the quadriceps working in your front of your thighs. Beautiful. So hold that to the center. Bend your knees nicely, just give yourself a break. And then I let hold the back of my thighs and just circle those legs around, just to release a little bit into the tension of the, so the quads, right? Because that was quite intense there. Okay, so take your legs back down to the mat. We're gonna go back to this direction. Okay, we're gonna take our feet down to the mat. And give ourselves a nice stretch into the front of the thighs. Okay, so hands are reaching down, feet are hip distance apart. I'm going to actually take my feet nice and close to my bum. I'm reaching my tailbone long away from my head. I'm going to take an inhale there into the side of the ribcage. I'm going to draw my belly in as I exhale. So inhale, and then I'm going to exhale to pull my pubic bone towards my breastbone, shortening the space at the front here. I'm feeling my back is nicely lengthened, but it's all in the abdominals. I will hold that there and feel the breath into the ribcage, feel it really opening into the back as well. 
And then as I exhale, I will release that out all the way. So what I'm doing here, I'm activating this from my abdominals. So right now I feel my pelvic floor really loose. Feel that sensation. I'm breathing into my ribcage. Feel the lungs pressing the ribcage open. And on the exhale, I'm going to just draw up from my pelvic floor. Feel my feet into the mat and just pull that pubic bone up so I can imprint my back onto the mat and feel that shortened space in the front of the abdomen. Now this is really all in my abs, nice and firm. I'm gonna hold that there, inhale. And one more time, I'm gonna exhale all the way to neutral, just to release all the tension across the abdomen and feel the pelvic floor release. My knees actually just float open slightly because of that sensation of surrendering the pelvic floor and inner thigh connection. I'm gonna go again, inhale. This time we're going to move further with it. And as I exhale, I get my feet engaged, my knees come back to neutral, parallel, and I can engage my pelvic floor, pull the sits bones together. I draw my belly button in, and I pull my pubic bone towards my breastbone. So I lengthen through my back and shorten at the front. Now this is nice, inhale. Hold that like that for me. We're going to continue up. Inhale. On the next exhale, I'm going to press my feet into the mat, get active in my hamstrings at the back of my thighs, and start to peel my body off the mat into a bridge um, position. So I'm pushing my pubic bone towards the ceiling, not arching up my lower back. I want to lengthen the back so that the tailbone is reaching towards my knees. I want to push the pubis to the ceiling and I want to really push from the crease of the bum so I'm getting a little bit of a hip extension so my thighs are doing the work. I'm going to hold that there as I inhale and then I'm going to exhale to roll through the spine coming down bone by bone, allowing the throat to relax, the chest to relax, the rib cage to reach down, the, above the waist, the waist, the lower back, the sacrum, then the pelvis rolls out and you surrender there, releasing the pelvic floor. We're going to add on to that. Inhale again. And get that switching on the pelvic floor. Pull those knees parallel, feet into the mat. Pull the pubic bone up. Pull the back into the mat. Pull that together. Take a breath as you need. And exhale to peel off the mat. Beautiful. Reaching the body long. Send the knees really over those shins. Open the line, iron out the line, the crease between your thigh and your hip. Feel the abdominals really connecting the lower back long. Press the hands towards the, the ankles and push the pubis up to the seat. Now feel that lift there for me. I want you to lift one leg up and press the other supporting leg in and stretch that leg to the ceiling. Reach that leg long and just pause there as you feel that leg through the front of the body. Inhale there, press the hips up, take that leg back up, bend that knee and place that down. Lifting through the body, send those knees over the shins. I'm going to take the other leg up, pressing my left leg up this time, pressing the pubis up, lift. I'm going to flex that foot, lengthen both sides of your waist, reach that leg long, feel that length through the front line of the body. Lift that back up, reach it, flex that foot. Fold that knee and float that foot down. Both feet are down. Lift through the hips and hold as you take a nice slow breath. And on the exhale, you're going to melt that throat. You're going to just relax into the breastbone. Pull in the, the glutes. So you're opening through the back, shortening through the front, pushing the knees over the shins and opening through the back as you release that down bone by bone, all the way to neutral. Really feeling that nice and long, beautiful. Take the legs, the arms apart for me. Squeeze the legs together. And you're just gonna take your legs to one side and take a breath there. You're gonna inhale and exhale to take it to center. Inhale, take it to the other side. Exhale to release that. Inhale in that position. And exhale to come back up. Beautiful. Nicely done. Almost out of time. So let's just do a nice roll up. We're going to stretch those legs nicely. Arms coming up and roll up through the spine. Let's get a nice stretch through the body. Inhaling into the back and zipping up and exhaling to float back down. And reaching and scoop 
we are inhaling, shoulders down, reaching over that waist, inhaling, and exhaling to go back down. Let's go one more time. Exhaling to peel yourself off. Inhaling into the back. And exhaling to float back down. Good. You take your arms behind you. You can put a little pillow behind your head. And just this Sunday morning, if you want to take an extra 5-10 minutes, you could just lie there. Have the arms to the sides. Let the legs float open. Allow the face to relax, the jaw to relax, the throat, the shoulders. Feel the abdominals just relaxing down, the ribcage is melted. The pelvis is nice and open, the feet are just relaxed. And as you take a nice slow breath in, imagine that breath just invading your body and nourishing your body. And as you breathe out, just think of that breath cleansing your body. And you can continue into a little breathing meditation of becoming fully aware of every inch of your body as you breathe in and sending love and appreciation in with that breath. And as you breathe out, you breathe out the gratitude that you've been able to have a week and start a new week in this beautiful world. And as you breathe in, breathe in love. I'll let you stay there and relax with your um, breathing. And you can join me again tomorrow for another 20 minutes of Pink Ribbon Pilates with me, okay? Thank you for joining me. And for those of you who will watch it on recording, I hope you enjoy. Shoot any questions or comments you want in the below the video so that I can um, respond to that. Thanks, and let me know how you feel.